Your team's about to board a big jet on their way to make history for the NBA. Just what does that mean for you to be a part of this moment? Well, this is huge. When I came into the NBA and I bought the Kings, uh, Adam Silver promised me that one day we would have a game in India. And so thank you, Adam Silver. You've kept your promise. Uh, so it's taking the NBA to India and it's bringing India to the NBA. So it's, it's historic, it's epic, and I'm so excited. And just from your perspective, how special is that to, to see the experience your players are going to have through their eyes? It's going to be amazing for the players. Uh, we just have a great group of kids. Uh, Harrison was there mm -hmm. uh, over the summer. Uh, so they've already had some taste, or at least one of right. them has. Um, and I just want them to enjoy it. I want them to embrace the experience and uh, spread, spread the word. Yeah, and, and Trevor even mentioned, you know, just being a part of this historic moment, some kid's going to see De'Aaron Fox running up and down the court, and they're going to want to do that. How meaningful is that to the children and the youth of India to see that that's attainable for them? It's, it's huge. Uh, since we started this program a few years ago, we now have 10 million little boys and girls bouncing basketballs across the country. Uh, and so just the sheer numbers there are huge. Uh, and to be able to see the best of the best, uh, it's going to be inspiring for all these kids. And anything you're most looking forward to in particular for this trip? Well, I'm just looking forward to the whole experience. Uh, this is a dream come true for me. Uh, we're going to my hometown. Uh, I'm going to see uh, my 95-year-old aunt, and oh I'm going to see my cousins, uh, and they're going to come to the game. Uh, so this is beyond my wildest dreams. I, I came to this country with $50 in my pocket, and now I'm taking an NBA team uh, to my hometown, it's as awesome as it gets. It's incredible. And just what is what is your hope for for the league moving forward and their relationship with with bringing the league to India? And where does this program go? Where's where's the next step for you? Yeah, we have the best uh, league in sports, and I think we have the best commissioner in sports. Uh, and they've always uh, been thinking ahead, starting with David Stern. Uh, they built China. Uh, India is the next uh, great frontier for the NBA. Uh, and I believe that basketball is a sport that is going to be embraced in India as we've already seen over the last few years. It's a game that can be played in the cities, in the villages, inside, outside, by boys, by girls, by one person, by a few people. Uh, unlike cricket or soccer, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And in cities like Bombay, there isn't a lot of space. Uh, and really, it's more than a game. It's, it's a vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very much compatible with the vibe of India. It's, it's, uh, it's a swagger, it's, it's music, it's a spectacle. Uh, Indians love all that. Uh, so I think it's going to be a game that perfectly matches uh, the Indian mindset. Fantastic. And after taking over just in 2013, I remember when I first met you, literally the day the sale closed, um, this was your vision to see this come to fruition and here you are and to do that. Just does it feel like something fulfilled for you? It, this is, for me, this is very satisfying, it's very gratifying because I made a commitment that one day we'd have an NBA game in India and it's, it's going to happen now. So this is, uh, it, it, it's beyond words, it, it's just amazing. And because you've had 140 or so broadcasts of Kings games in India, what's the feedback you've heard from people who still live there who are now kind of adapting towards Kings basketball? What I've heard from uh, people in India is that they're loving watching the Kings and they're loving watching uh, NBA basketball, uh, they are just so excited that they're actually going to get to see a game in Bombay. That, that is amazing. And then my final question is, when I think of two sign signature moments that you've had here, standing on center court at the old arena saying this is your team, officially embrace, you know, opening up, you're introducing yourself to the Kings fans, and then what you did with Stefan Clark. Where does this rank? I mean, is this a signature moment? Do you, can you feel a, a signature moment that you've had since you've been here? Yeah, I, I believe that uh, when the game is about to start and I'm sitting there waiting for the Sacramento Kings to play the Indian the Pacers, uh, it, it's just going to hit me as to how amazing it all is. And it's going to rank right up there with one of the defining moments of this journey for me. And I did a one last one, sorry. If no one's seen the Taj Mahal before, I mean, I know it's a wonder of the world. What are they missing? What, what, how, how do you describe what the Taj Mahal is? Uh, in, in many ways, uh, basketball uh, is, is a game of love. You know, you, you love your teammates, you love the fans, you love the city. Uh, and there is no greater monument to love than the Taj Mahal. 
so the only thing I have to say to the guys is that I hope that your spouses and your partners don't learn the full story of why the Taj Mahal was built because it'll make every guy look really bad. Uh, so this is a monument to love. It's just an incredible structure. It's one of the wonders of the world. Uh, and it, it's, it's perfection. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be something that our players will never forget.